Tammy, yep. tell us about being at Villa then. A big club. Were you expecting it to be uh, the size it is? <laughs> To be fair, you know, growing up as a kid, I've always uh, obviously known about Aston Villa, you know, in the Premier League. And unfortunately, they got the, uh, they went down to the championship. But, you know, I've always been aware of the team and how big it is. And coming here has made me realise it's even bigger than I it's, thought. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. What about the, um, you feel any pressure being centre forward for uh, Aston Villa? I felt it a bit when I was at the club. <laughs> You know, as a, in football in general, it brings pressure, you know, but that pressure drives me, you know, going into games, believing in myself. Like I said, I've always believed in myself, you know, so coming here, I expect myself to be at a certain level and perform a certain way. Moving the, the goalpost slightly, what about... Uh... Mr. Southgate, my he, my he was my old skipper here. Yeah. Gareth was he my skipper for about five years. Yeah. How do you find him? Yeah, I love him. Um, he's a great guy, you know. Off the pitch as well, you know. He's just like a he's like a friend of everyone, you know. Um, he likes to make you feel comfortable. As soon as I saw him, you know, I didn't have him as an under twenty one manager. So the first time I had him was with the seniors. So, oh, okay. So when I first got there, I just just felt natural, just felt normal, you know. Spoke with him, made me feel comfortable, introduced me to the boys, and yeah. If it's your first time, you always need that person who can put, who can tell you, but also put an arm around you. Yeah. And I think he has that ability, and to, to the players now as well. I think he's still the same with the senior team. He's always friendly to everyone, nice. But when he needs to tell someone, he, he will tell someone, and he's never afraid to do so. So, yeah, it's always nice to have that. What about here at Villa then? Um, characters? Have we got many characters in the <laughs> dressing room? There's always characters in the dressing room. Who, who are they here? We've got a few jokers. We've got uh, Chuck Grealish, you know. <laughs> which everyone's aware of. <laughs> he has his funny <laughs> moments. But, you know, um, we've also got John McGinn. You know, um, they're definitely two of the jokes for the team. Really? Yeah. What kind of things are you doing? Can you tell, can you tell us or not? Is it, is no, we keep, that, we keep that for the Keep that to the dressing room. <laughs> Chami Abraham! This season then, yeah. have, you, have you set yourself any goals or? For me, um, you know, I've come here to do my job, you know, I've come here to help the team as much as I can, score goals and, like I said, hopefully get promoted. So what was it like joining Villa from Coventry? Well, I lost a few friends, all the Coventry fans hated me, <laughs> to, to move into what they consider to be one of their rivals. But, uh, to be honest, and on the record now, the contracts were the same. The money was the same. It's just that getting the chance to play at a football club like this and John Gregory, who was the manager at the time, were excellent. And I thought, I've, I've got to give it a go. I really have. And I couldn't turn it down. Villa's huge and I loved it. Okay, come right. And no flag here against Dion Dublin! Dublin has done it! And the wobbling wobbles of Wimbledon fall behind! And what was it like following the footsteps of great strikers? I felt the pressure. <laughs> I've got to say, you know, there's so many good strikers um, who have played for Villa before I got here. But then I had to play with strikers like Julian Joachim, Stan Collymore, Paul Merson. And I'm thinking, wow, mm. I've, got to, I've got to keep my standards up sure. to, to, to earn the right sure. to wear the number nine shirt for Aston Villa. You know, the, the, the pressure of having the number nine shirt for Villa was massive. Scoring at the whole end was incredible. <laughs> Myself, I believe I've made a good start. But you have. For you, <laughs> you have. You made it. You made an amazing start. You know what, Tommy? I got lucky. I, I oh, I say got lucky. I worked hard, but 
I scored seven goals in my first three games for Villa. I scored two on my debut, I scored a hat-trick and then I scored two after that. Um, truth be known, and if you're watching this linesman, <laughs> in my first game I scored three, I got flagged offside for my third. Second game I scored a hat-trick against Southampton. Third game I scored two against Liverpool, missed a penalty against David James. So I could have had three yeah, and no, three. Goals. Could have had three and three time, which would have been great. But it's just, it's, it's one of those things that happens. You know what it's like, to, as, as a centre forward, sometimes wherever the ball hits you, it, 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 it finds its way into the net and you, you end up being in a purple patch. So at that particular time, I got very lucky, but I had great players around me to help me get to that seven in three total. And what was your highlights in the Villa Colours? Uh, my highlights uh, would be possibly my debut, scoring two on my debut against Spurs, um, playing in the FA Cup final for Aston Villa against Chelsea albeit the final was rubbish and we lost 1-0. Scoring in the semi-final, scoring, scoring the penalty to get into the final against uh, Bolton. I remember, Tammy, we were on the halfway line, imagine yeah. that's Wembley, on the halfway line, myself, Lee Hendry, Gareth Southgate, Hugo Ekio, God rest his soul, all in the line and uh, Bolton missed their penalty and all the Villa players went, yeah, and there's a still, there's a picture, a massive still of all the players going, I'm like this, <laughs> because I'm next to take a penalty and I'm kind of scared and I just scored and, and we got through so it was, yeah. it was pretty amazing. It's an extraordinary tale. Last one, Go on. who was the best players you played with? If I start at the back we had Peter Schmeichel, David James, David Ginola, Paul Merson, Hugo Ekjog, Gareth Southgate, your old, uh, your, well, your new manager now, the senior manager with England, J Lord Samuel, God rest his soul, do ice for sale. So many players, such a good squad of players. We should have achieved more, but having had, I think it was five, six years at Villa, great times at Villa, great club, but I think there's still some more greatness to come under your boys' umbrella, all right? Bring it back, bring it back. Thank you, Tammy, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.